So this says, using condensed electron configurations, write the reactions for the formation of the common ions of indium. Okay, so it's very similar to what we did before. But indium actually has two common ions. Okay, so things that uh, are atoms that are in the P um, block oftentimes uh, will lose all of their P electrons to form their first common ion, and then what they'll do is lose their S electrons, okay? Because remember we talked about the contraction of the D and F orbitals when they get filled, okay? So they're not no longer the most outermost orbitals, okay? So let's write, starting, write the condensed electron configuration of indium, okay? So indium is IN, right? So if we look for it on the periodic table, it's number 49 there, okay? So the condensed electron configuration, you guys can tell me if you want or not. Krypton, yeah. Um, what's next? 5s2, that makes sense, right? Next? 40, 10, and then 5p1, okay? So let's talk, or let's figure out what the two common ions for indium should be, right? So remember what I said, right? When you have these p block elements that'll, you know, have a full d orbital, they will lose their p's first, and then that'll be a semi stable ion in and of itself, and then they can lose the S's next, okay? So what two ions would you expect indium to make? How about that? Or would you expect it to make any ions? Three plus, that's one of them, because why plus? Because you want to lose the electrons, right? But that's not the ion, that's the second ion that it would make. Five minus? No. What was it? One plus. Yeah, plus one. Right? Why did you figure out one? Because what did we say? Yeah, it's going to lose its what first? P orbitals first, and then stay there. So draw that. Okay, so that's stable. You know that the, those filled Ds are stable. We've talked about copper, we've talked about silver, we've talked about gold. And what's the electron configuration for this guy? Is it just Kr? No. So tell me, what is it? Kr4010. Okay, so that's the electron configuration for the second ion. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So you should be able to take this, predict this, predict this, write their electron configurations, okay? And of course, quantum numbers for each of those electrons if I wanted to. You guys are awesome at quantum numbers now, right? Or you will be the next time I talk to you.